Hey out there, thanks for tuning in. It's Tuesday, October 13th, 2020. Yesterday I made a video, Monday Morning Blues, because I was in a little bit of a funk. Just a couple hours. But I talked a little bit about strategies I used to get out of it. I thought it was important to make the video while I was in that funk, so that if there's anybody else out there that could identify with ever being in a funk or feeling like, this day isn't that good. I don't know if anybody can identify with that. Then they would be able to see that it passes. You know, sometimes we get into a funk and it doesn't seem like it's going to pass, but it always passes. So at the same time, I was thinking, if that's the only video or that's the only thing that someone ever knew about me, I wonder if they would say, that poor guy, he's so sad. He's down in the dumps. He must have a miserable life. I don't know if someone would say that. However, I didn't want to give that impression because it passes and it comes so infrequently compared to my default, which is enthusiasm, gratitude, and just living a life beyond my wildest dreams. I made a video the other day about how I deal with contractors and, and vendors and, and people in my life. And I thought it was important to make a video today after my funky few hours yesterday to tell you what's important. Because I, I don't think it's a secret. It kind of is. It's kind of hard to put into words. But when I made that video about the contractors and the vendors and stuff, I saw firsthand that I'm trying to implement what, I, what I've always wanted to in my life. And that is that material possessions and money and stuff can never come up ahead of people and how I deal with people. I think I tried that for years. I tried to, to get ahead with, with stuff and money and bulldoze my way through life. And the only thing I did was, you know, I didn't have any good relationships in my life and I still never had any money. And once I started putting people first, money started flowing in. It's a secret, but it's not a secret. It's so funny. It's almost like, I don't want to get too deep here, but it's almost like, you can't look directly at the sun, but you feel the warmth, you know? So like money, money, you got to have something to live, don't get me wrong. But as far as being successful and, and having a lot of money in the bank and stuff, if for me, when that was my priority, it never came. And then when I started like taking an interest in people and trying to be unselfish and things like that, then money came. It's so funny how that works. And then I get into a funky day yesterday, and you know the mind. The mind is a uh, is a devious thing. My mind says, you know, from where you've come from, how dare you ever be down or or have uh, have Monday morning blues? Because there was a time when I was down and out, and down and out wasn't like I was in between jobs. Down and out was I didn't have one single thing left in my life. No people, no material possessions, nothing. The point to with pride. I didn't even have a bed. I'm not going to go into detail about how bad it was, but it was bad. So, you know, sometimes you'll hear people say, oh, I've reached the bottom or, you know, I was down and out and maybe they were in between jobs or something or, or, or something else happened. And I'm not discounting anybody's pain because pain is pain. But when I say down and out for me, I was almost out of the count. And here I am talking to you about flipping houses. Whew, who's got it better than me? I'm living a life beyond my wildest dreams. I talk about houses and sometimes I'll talk about material possessions or, or money. And I do because it's tangible evidence that for me, I'm doing better. And I know it's evidence of, of other people that are maybe successful. It's, it's also evidence that they're doing better. But I never want to lose sight that it's people, people, people that I have in my life today. That my quality of life is so much better. I mean, from the family I go home to that loves me and I love them, to the friends, the high quality friends that I have in my life that build me up, make me better. You know, the bar has been raised. So when I talk to you about houses, it's because I know about houses. I know about flipping. I know about, you know, money flowing into my life. And I want to share it with people. I want to share it. I have to give it away in order to keep it. So I'm waiting for somebody at the bottom of one of these videos to say, Take me along. I'm going to call you, Harry. I'm going to pick your brain. I want somebody to do that. 
I'm not a know-it-all, but I got quite a bit of info up here. And remember, if I could do it, anybody could do it.